Anxiously waiting to catch a glimpse of her husband, 19-year-old Nareja Kutan and her newborn baby feel the victims of this crackdown. Her partner is one of thousands arrested in northeast India as the local government moves towards eradicating child marriage. The police picked up my husband at night around 11pm. I have a daughter. Who will feed her now? The decision has ripped apart families. This mother says her son's arrest came without warning. I can't afford a lawyer. There's no money in the house. It's heartbreaking. Child marriage is not uncommon in India where the legal age is officially 18. Yet more than 1.5 million girls become brides in the country every year. In some districts, teenage pregnancies reach as high as 26%. The practice is particularly rife in the most impoverished areas. Because of the increased mortality rate as well as increased teenage pregnancies and high level of child marriages, Government of Assam, the cabinet has passed a resolution that this social evil has to be eradicated from the state of Assam. For the mothers of the men facing two years behind bars, the policy has been devastating. I can see my world crumbling. I can't run this family. I will die. I need my son back. I'm dying to see him. My child should be returned to me. I never knew about these laws about child marriage. Child rights activists are celebrating the crackdown but recognise the change will impact households who have lost their main source of income. Timely law enforcement is important as well as sustained community action, sustained social protection measures for children, especially in vulnerable communities. The change leaving these already vulnerable families feeling even more alone. Tyson Whelan, ABC News.